I'm Augustine, I'm a composer and sound designer. And today, I want to show you a quick example of how to simply implement music assets into Unreal using Metasound and Blueprints, as well as my own original music. For the purpose of this video, I've created a small level and a menu using only three assets from the Unreal Marketplace. Now, let me show you how it looks. As you can see, it's a very simple game, with only one character and one NPC. I wanted to create a very simple music system with exploration music running when the character is not in combat, and obviously combat music during a fight. I also wanted to implement stingers and bumpers to start and end the fight music to make the transition smoother. The first step is to create a meta sound that will contain our music system. Right click on Audio, then Meta Sound Source, make it stereo, and then we will start with the exploration music. Insert a stereo wave player. To this node, you will connect a shuffle or random wave asset array node. Connect them, and on the array input, promote it to variable and add the different music assets you want to play. Then connect the on-play input to the nodes and the outputs to a stereo mixer. And don't forget to connect the value output of the shuffle to the wave asset of the wave player. You should hear the music. We also want the music to select another track and play it when the previous one is finished. To do this, from the on nearly finished output, create a trigger variable. Then add a trigger any note and connect the on play to the first input. After that, right click create delayed on nearly finished and connect it to the remaining input of the trigger any node. Now, we want the music to switch into combat music whenever we encounter an enemy. First, we'll create a new trigger called Start Combat Music and connect it to another wave player that will contain the appropriate music. I will only use one piece of music for this tutorial, but you can also use several based on the previous mechanism. Then, we connect the output to the stereo mixer. We also want to add a short sound to notify the player that we've entered into a fight. To do this, I've created another meta sound source called Transition Sound. It follows the same instructions as the Exploration Music one. The reason for this is to save space inside my meta sound and keep things easier to read. Don't forget to connect the unfinished output so it kills the sound after being played. Back to the main meta sound, add the Transition Meta Sound. I also added a delay to leave the transition sound alone before playing the combat music. If we play that, we notice that everything is working, but nothing tells the exploration music to stop. The next step will be to add a crossfade in between exploration music and the transition sound, and send a trigger to stop the exploration music. First, I create a meta sound patch, and use the ADSR envelope to create a crossfade. Then, I add these different inputs and outputs and connect the envelope value to two crossfade nodes to have it be stereo. Then, I create two trigger outputs to on decay triggered and on done. Incorporate the new patch into your meta sound, then connect the start combat trigger to the fade to second and the on play of the exploration wave player to fade to first. Connect the corresponding outputs. Next, Add an output trigger to the phase second done. And like the only finished, connect the delay trigger variable to the stop input of the exploration wave player. Now, when we test it, we can hear the crossfade and the combat music starting.
Moving forward, with the same logic, we need to create another trigger input that will stop the combat music and get back to the exploration ones. So we will connect this new trigger to another transition sound that will send a signal to the player that the combat is over. Add another crossfade node to smoothly transition between combat music and transition sound, and then create a delay node to restart the exploration music after a few seconds. Let's see if it works. Now that we have a working music system inside a single meta sound, we need to refer to these triggers inside the blueprints. The first thing to do is to create a new actor blueprint, call it music system, and drag and drop it into your level. Then open this blueprint, add a new audio component, select your meta sound and create a new variable as an audio component object reference. Now. Let's say you want to trigger the combat music when you start the cinematic that introduces the enemy. Go into the cinematic cutscene blueprint, create a new variable and select the music system blueprint and make the instance editable. Select your cutscene trigger box and under default, select the correct object reference. Back in the cutscene blueprint, on component begin overlap event, Create a do once node because we don't want to re trigger the cutscene. Drag and drop your component, get the audio component, create an execute trigger parameter node, and write the exact same name of the trigger you've created in the meta sound. Compile and save. Next, we want to do the same thing to tell the game when to stop the combat music. So the different scenarios will be either on character death or enemy death. I will use the latter one for this example. Use the same method to communicate with the music system blueprint and after the death event, execute trigger parameter, stop combat music. Note that instead of using the cutscene to trigger the start combat music, we could have used, for example, on C pawn event, or take any damage event, or anything else that is relevant to your game. I've also implemented a menu within the game. Using the same method from earlier, I created another menu music meta sound. The menu music is playing in the background until we click the start button, which triggers a long transition sound, and we jump into the level. To do this, on the event graph of the main menu UI, Connect it to the event construct, create a spawn 2D sound to create an audio component variable called menu music. Connect the onclicked button event to an execute trigger parameter, name it click button menu, like a new meta sound, and finish with the open level by object. Finally, we can play our game and enjoy the dynamic music.
I hope this video helped you understand how to create a simple music system with only Metasound. If you like the music, you can listen to my work via the different links in the description. Also, if you noticed any mistakes or improvements that could be made to this method, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.